Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Okay, so I've made a decision to bring back an old favorite here on the channel. So we're going to throw down some cards for the work week top and bottom of the deck. I'm going to do it a little bit different than I've done it in the past, but still going to be, you know, the same general premise. It's good to the work week Monday through Friday. I'll post another one for the weekend on Friday. That'll be good for Saturday and Sunday. Blah, blah, blah. All that happy jazz. So, I'm burning the sage to clear out the negative energy because I've been trying to do this. Literally been trying to do this for three hours and I keep getting interrupted. So, we're just going to throw them down and get it done. All right. For those of you who are new here and don't know how we do this, I go by the elements. It's Virgo season. Virgo's an earth element. So I'll start with Earth, go around the wheel accordingly. If it resonates with your sun sign, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, eight of wands reversed popped out for the Earth signs, just throwing that out there. It's your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it does not resonate, that's okay too. Check your other placement signs, your moon, your rising, your Venus, you may find that you might find something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. Cross watchers are always welcome here at the Firesign Tarot Table. Um, as for the disclaimer, one, we all better be adults here. Better not be anybody under the age of 18 watching this. Not that I don't love you. I, I do. But you can't be watching, okay? This, this is an adults-only channel. And there's a reason for that. So if you are under the age of 18, please, I'll give you a few seconds. Vacate. Come back. Find the video on your birthday, okay? Um, second, this is for entertainment purposes. Um, please do not make any life-altering decisions based on a tarot reading. Please don't. I mean, it's your journey, you do you, but we here at Fire Sign Tarot hold absolutely zero responsibility if you make a life-altering decision based on something that the cards say. I'm just saying. This is entertainment purposes only. Okay. Mm. Sorry. I, I'm obligated to throw that in there at this point every time I throw down cards. So, where were we? We're just, you know what, we're just going to get right to it. I'm already three minutes in. So, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, we're going to throw down your cards, see what's going on for this week for you guys. And my neighbor's pets are like flipping out right now. Can you guys hear that? Flipping out. Okay. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, you have the Hanged Man and the Princess of Cups. Hmm. Oh, wow. Somebody might be a little bit hung up on a communication that came in. Text message, phone call, message left in the answering machine. Maybe... Um, I mean, wow. Huh. Okay. Interesting. That's super interesting. Huh. Maybe somebody liked one of the posts you put up on social media or something of like that, and you're a little bit hung up on it. We'll see what else happened. Okay. Top of the deck, bottom of the deck. Four of swords in the reverse. Five of cups, sorry, four of swords in the upright. Five of cups in the upright. You laid this to rest. It brought about a great sadness. I see the three swords, three swords of the broken heart. You're laying on the fourth sword. Let's rest. Let's starting over. 
Five of Cups. This, yes, this is great sadness. Wow. Three swords, three cups. Everything was spilt. You had a hard time seeing the blessing in this, I believe. Because you weren't looking at it. You see, it's behind you. You you weren't looking at the blessings. All, all you looked at were spilled cups. You gotta understand something. This is words of wisdom for life. Every crappy thing that ever happened to you, there was a blessing in it somewhere. It may have just taken you a minute to find it. But when you're in the moment, you don't look at it that way. I get that. I totally get that. Totally get that. All right, what happened after that? Prince of Swords. And the Two of Cups reversed. Hmm. They call it the Stalker card, not quite sure why, how it got that tag, but the Prince of Swords, he speaks truth. I gotta find out who this is. That's a breakup. That's a disconnect. You may have recently found out, possibly via social media, maybe you saw something in someone's whatever. I mean, there, there's so many of them out there, I'm not even gonna try to list them. Maybe you heard news of a breakup. Maybe it's the person you were all four of swords and five of cups about. Good possibility. Or, you know, it could be vice versa. Maybe that's why you're all hung up on a weird text message that you got. Hmm. We'll throw some clarity on that in a second. <laughs> There's that Prince of Cups. Ah! And the Wheel of Fortune will all be darned. Ah! That's funny. Hmm. Prince of Cups, that's comeback king himself. I mean, it's not Prince of Wands comeback king, but, you know. Upward turn of events. Closing of an old chapter, beginning of a new coming in right on okay let's get a little bit of clarity this is fun this is fun okay oh what do i need to clarify what do i need to clarify who's this two of cups why is the two of cups reversed here thanks six of cups reversed yeah mm-hmm this is this this is this is the somebody you got like all five of cups about and all four of swords about because there's a three of swords in there and there's a spilt three of cups. You laid it to rest and in the moment you had a hard time seeing the blessing in it. But I think you're starting to see it now. I think you're starting to see it more clearly. Why is the wheel here? Ten of Cups. Can I get one more on that?
justice reversed. I don't see you taking the cup. I don't. Because the justice reverse popped out. You know the playing field isn't going to be level. And I think you've already found your ten cups. I think with the closing of this chapter, you, you found what you were looking for. Or you're about to. You're on the verge. Why is the prince... Two of Swords of... I didn't even get the question out and the Two of Swords Reverse popped out. Difficult decisions needing to be made. The difficult decision being, what do I do with this cup? What am I doing with this message? You feel a little salty about this still. Quite frankly, I don't blame you. It's something you had to release and lay to rest. All right. Can I get one on this Five of Cups? Just for kicks. One on the Five of Cups. Thanks. Nine of Swords. Yeah, you went a little back at bonkers about this. You did. You might have been hung up on it for a minute. Maybe you're still a little bit hung up. I don't see you taking it, though. Page of Wands reversed. I don't see you moving forward with it. I don't. I don't see you moving forward with it. I think you've found your happiness, and you know that the playing field that's coming in with this is not level, and it's not going to be fair. I don't think you're in a place where you can be fair yet. I think there's still a lot of salty feelings and negative thoughts. Because this had you hung up for a minute. Still a little bit hung up. I don't see you taking it. I don't see you taking the cup. I don't see you doing anything about this because you're closing this chapter out this week. And that's good. That's good. I see, I see ten cups coming in for you. I just don't see it coming from the comeback. No. Unless your emotional fulfillment comes with, in, you know, just desserts. But, you know, I'm... I'm just reading cards. Okay. I'm just reading cards. All right. Let's get some advice. High Priestess in the reverse. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Mm. Mishmatch connection. Someone not feeling it as powerfully as the other person. It, it, it's there. Absolutely. There's an ego lesson here. Definitely an ego lesson. I'm going to pull a couple more off of that. Something about egos. Nine of Pentacles reversed in the King of Cups. I don't see an abundant ending coming out of this because somebody's coming back in to feed their ego or they're going to come back in to try to feed your ego, one of the two. If your cups are already full and you're good... Don't let them try to overflow your cup because that's how cups get spilled. Know what I'm saying? When egos get involved, just don't even play with that. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse and the King of Cups. Don't mistake neediness and codependency for love because they are not the same thing. You understand where I'm coming from with that? Do you get where I'm coming from? You can have a deep emotion for this person, but don't, don't let it be like a codependent thing because that's not healthy. Codependency is not love, but not the same thing. So let's just be clear on that. 
do whatever you're going to do with it. Okay? Let me know what happens, though, because this could be very interesting for my earth sign friends this week. Okay. Wow. Oh, can we tell I was drinking coffee at 7 o'clock at night? Wow. Oh, okay. Something just happened. You know, I was only sitting here for like three hours trying to do this. <laughs> I was. I was sitting here for three hours. I kept getting interrupted. The phone would go off. Screaming and yelling out in the living room. You know. It is what it is. <clears throat> um, air signs. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me stop and think of where I left off for a second. Okay. Put this here. Okay. What's in store for my friends? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Might have to take a pause and relight that sage here in a minute. I figured out where my pause button is, by the way. Yeah, it's only been how many months since I bought this Chromebook and started doing videos on it? I couldn't figure out where the freaking pause button was. Found it. Pretty amazing. Okay, where are we? Okay. Chariot in the reverse. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Well, how about that? I'm going to get this out of the way. Set this up over here. Could be a cancer or a fire sign you're dealing with. Not necessarily, though. If that's setting off alarms in your brain, great. If it's not, just walk away from it. It's just the energies coming off the cards. Potential associations. You're laying down weapons. Closing a gap here. Wow. Potentially succumbing to some inner demons. Maybe some things are just a little bit out of control. But there's there's a closing of a gap here. Potentially could be a return. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. I'm, I'm feeling closing a gap. Possibly a return making things go a little wonky. I don't know. All right, let's see what the cards have to say. All right, what happened? Happened in the past. Queen of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Oh, they were a catch. Independent, strong, mover and a shaker, knew your worth. There was an interruption in the path, though. Could have had something to do with a fire sign, doesn't necessarily have to. See the little lizard? See how the cat's like, come on, what are you doing? And then, can you see that? Then the lizard's just kind of in the middle of the path and you can't go anywhere because you're afraid of the lizard. I think this Queen of Pentacles may have been the lizard. I don't know. I don't know if this is you or the other person. Hmm. We'll throw some clarity on that in a minute. What happened after that? Four of Wands reversed, the moon reversed. Mm. Four of Wands reversed is my little minor arcana tower card. And interruptions in the path, something happened. The moon in the reverse, things became illuminated that were before unknown. Secrets came out. Hmm. It's hard to tell what came first, the chicken or the egg, the cart or the horse. 
I don't know if the tower fell and then the secrets came out, or the secrets came out and then the tower fell. I don't know. We'll get clarity in a minute. What happened after that? Hair fit in the reverse. Wheel of Fortune in the upright. Again, this is a disconnect. Disconnect in a blessed union. Or you learned an important life lesson here. You're about to. Something to do with a breakup, possibly a divorce. Could be just be a, a tourist you're disconnecting from. Again, doesn't have to be. Closing of a chapter this week. Let's get a little clarity. All right. Hmm. Hmm. See what comes out. Who's the Queen of Pentacles? Seven of Swords reversed. Secrets coming out. Can I get the question out? Why the page of wands reversed? Nine of cups. Moving and shaking up in the world. Life is bliss. Strong. You're independent. You know your worth. You're good. Secrets come out. Interruption in the path. One more. Why the Nine of Cups? Well, of course, yeah, it's a path to happiness, but why? Aha! Uh -huh. You missed a cup! On the path to happiness and joy and bliss, you're one cup away. There's the cup. You didn't see it because you spent too much time looking at something else. Secrets came out. These are the three cups of secrets. Cut us what is shit is different. You, you missed the cup. Possibly you were dealing with a person that was appearances, old appearances, perfect, amazing, wonderful, then you went over there and saw a skeleton hanging in their closet. Granted, the sex of the card doesn't matter, just, you know, work with me here, okay? You let a skeleton in the closet be an interruption and path, and then you focused on that, and you didn't get your tenth cup, because... You weren't looking at it. That's what happened. Okay. Moving on to the tower moment. Mm -hmm. Things fell apart because secrets came out. I don't think I need to clarify that. I think we're good with that. It's coming in with this week. Why is the Hierophant reversed here? You acted like you wanted to talk, but then you decided you didn't. So, nothing else comes out. I'm going to take you. Nine of Wands. Disconnect and a blessed union. Walls going up. Magician reversed. Ah. Huh. Mm. 
Ace of Cups reversed, the spilt cup. You're on high guard this week. Your walls are up. Hmm. Let's throw one more on that. Something isn't making sense. I'm seeing you not accepting the offer, but I'm not seeing the offer coming in. Disconnect in a blessed union. Another spilt cup. The master manipulator in this magician reversed. Sun's going to shine again. Acknowledgement and the connection. The sun's shining again. But I don't see you taking the cup. Closing the chapter. You're going to get closure this week. Wow. Okay. Wow. I mean, who could ask for more, really? <laughs> I'm just saying. One on this Wheel of Fortune, please, because I'm seeing this as closure. Someone may try to come in with a cup and close this gap, but... I mean, I did see a return coming. I don't see you taking the cup, though. Either you ain't taking it or you ain't giving it one of the two. Five of Wands reversed, Knight of Pentacles. They make it come in for closure. I don't want to fight. Here's the olive branch. Do with it what you will. See, there's, you know, she was the queen of pentacles. She was. Now she is but a knight. So she's been downgraded slightly. And this may have been a long time coming. I see you all, like, up in arms and on guard about it. Absolutely. I do see the sun shining again. End of confrontation, closing the chapter. One more. Why the Knight of Pentacles? And then we're going to get advice. Wow. The work reversed. Well, they say it in over to the fat lady sings and maybe she's got a sore throat. I don't know. But I'm seeing this as it's not over yet. So, what do you do with that? I don't see you wanting to take the cup, but you're still you're still a little irritated. I mean, you were irritated then. You're still a little irritated now. You're on guard. And you're ready to just, like, be done with it and over it and end it. Don't see you wanting to deal with this, but they're coming in pretty strong as I don't want to fight with you. There's the olive branch. Please don't hit me with it. It's not over. All right, let's get some advice, shall we? Justice in the reverse, Empress in the reverse, until this playing field is level, it's not going to grow. So you can choose to either level the playing field out or allow them to, or you can walk away from it and accept that it is not going to grow. Hmm. But it's all about energy. Maybe you're still standing in the rubble of the tower. Maybe you can't handle the truth. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. But un until the playing field's level, it's not going to happen. The devil and the king of swords. King of swords is in the reverse. Hmm. 
Hmm. Or that toxic binding energy. Don't allow... Hmm. You're tightly bound to this person. Don't let that influence your decision and cause you to make an emotion-based decision in a time of logic. Fair enough. Okay. And at the same time, don't allow any toxicity involved in this situation to cause you to make an emotion-based decision when a decision based on logic needs to be made. Fair enough? Okay. Air sign friends, this is what I have for you. Okay. Whew. Kick him a butt. Yeah, but looks like this is going to be about an hour long. I'm okay with that. As long as you're okay with it. Water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on with you guys this week? I'm going to pause real quick and light the sage before I do this. So, oh my God, I got notifications. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's going on with you? Universe, Source, and Spirit. Can I get some guidance for our water sign friends, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ha! Ah, that's funny. It kicked out a card. It knew it didn't belong, so it kicked it out of the deck. Sorry if you can't see through the smoke. I really got to clear this negative energy out. I just want to get this done. That and I have a couple more readings I would like to do tonight to start gearing up for getting October readings done. I just want to clean up a little bit of September. I think a couple of you guys deserve some bonus readings. I was going through the comments and yeah, haven't quite decided who yet. I might decide to do a bonus round for everybody. I don't know. We're going to see how froggy I feel over the next few days. So... All right, one more shuffle, and I think we got it. Okay. Is everybody going to get the world card somewhere in their spread? Seriously, is everybody going to get the world card tonight? Two cups reversed in the world in the upright. And the fat lady just got her voice back for you guys. Okay. There's a disconnect. Possibly pretty recent. Chapters coming to a close. You know what happens when chapters come to a close? New ones start. You close the door, a window magically opens. That, that is what it is. That's where you're at right now. Okay. And that's okay, water sign friends. So, what happened? Five of Wands in the upright, Five of Swords in the reverse. Oh my God, it was... Oh, World War Three breaking out in your house? Wow. Okay. Confrontation, no hope of picking pieces up. Mm. Leaving that... I'm not even going to clarify that. That's where I'm at with that. That, that screaming World War Three. Okay. What happened after that? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Knight of Cups in the upright. Hmm. Wow. And again, when one door closes, another op one opens, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Doors close, windows open. Something went stagnant. Offer got taken off the table. And here it comes in. And you know what I affectionately call the Knight of Cups. Yeah. This is... Yeah. Could be the Comeback King. Could be somebody new. I'm sensing that's somebody new, though. Just riding in with a cup. Band-Aid boy, if you will. Here's my cup. I'd like to make this all better for you. 
Okay. What happens this coming week? Well, hmm. Death in the reverse. Ace of Pentacles. Hmm. Well. I'm not sure how I feel about that death in the reverse, but... Because that, that says to me that nothing changed. Oh, well. That's a pentacle. That's a cup. Death represents Scorpio. Hmm. And this is where I start throwing down clarifiers because this just got super juicy. Okay. Can I get some clarity on the cards on the table for my water sign friends, please? Four of Wands in the reverse. Without intention. Without intention, they go here. My little minor arcana tower. Yeah, the tower fell. You're surrounded by rubble. You're not picking these pieces up. Or at least you didn't think you were in the moment. Towers can be rebuilt, though. Towers can be rebuilt. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Who is the Knight of Pentacles reversed? Why are you here? Hermit reversed, chariot reversed. Head in the sand, being pulled in two different directions. Could have been a Cancer, could have been a Virgo. One more. Six of Swords reversed. Oh, well. Maybe that's what you were fighting about. Maybe, because that's two cards to return. Hmm. Hmm. Who's the Knight of Cups? Let's ask another question to answer a question. Who's the Knight of Cups? Why are you here? Three of Wands reversed. Didn't want to wait for that ship to come back in, huh? No, well, you, you walked away from the dock and you took a cup from somebody else because you didn't want to wait for a ship to come back. Told you it was going to get juicy. One more on that, please. One more. Sun reversed. Wasn't a very good connection, was it? Yeah. Yeah, no. The the Knight of Cups often isn't, unfortunately. He's not. I'm not going to say he's all bad, but he ain't no Knight of Pentacles. Tell you that right now. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no. 
Okay, well, you got a little impatient. You didn't want to wait. You took the cup. Fast forward into the now and the immediate future. Why is death reversed here? Three of swords reversed. Okay. One more. Page of Swords. Messages of truth coming in, coming out of states of heartbreak. Things not changing. Maybe someone doesn't want things to change. Maybe. Maybe it wasn't time to change. One more. The devil and the king of wands reversed. You're bound to this person. Very binding. If someone wants to come back and speak their truth. They don't want to fight. They don't want to fight anymore. They're done fighting. They feel a very binding connection with you. Why the devil? Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. I, I'm not sensing toxicity off of this card at all. I'm sensing bound connection. Powerful. Possibly a little something, something. Again, if it doesn't resonate, don't. Queen of Cups reversed. Hmm. I'm catching a sense that maybe they felt unloved. Maybe that's the truth that they're speaking of. Or maybe they're trying to come at this as, from a non-emotional point of view. Hmm. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Ace of Wands. New start in abundance. New start in passion. Seven of Swords, Eight of Cups reversed. Mm. Again, I'm not seeing this as being the sneaky card either. Because the Seven of Seven of Swords can also indicate making plans. So in regards to a return, which Eight of Cups reversed, talks of return, you may have someone trying to come back this week that wants a start in abundance and a new start in passion and is making very big plans to make a return. It could be you, it could be them. And they're going to come back speaking their truth. They don't want to fight. But they want all this to be over because their feelings for you have not changed. Let's get some advice, shall we? Ten of Wands in the reverse, Ace of Swords in the reverse.
got to release that baggage. Even if you choose not to move forward with this particular individual, if you're ever going to move forward again and walk through a different door or crawl through a different window and you just leave this current door shut, that can't happen until you release this burden and you haven't yet. Justice in the reverse and the fool in the upright. There it is again. There it is again, and so this playing field is level. It may just be time to go off on a new path and experience new things because this playing field isn't level. And until this levels off, that you don't get the new start. So, hmm. I guess you do with it what you're going to. It's not my journey, it's yours. I'm just reading cards. Okay. Fire sign friends. Sorry. It's, it's an earth season, which means you guys got to go last until the end of Virgo season, at the least. Sorry. It is what it is. I don't control the hands of time. I don't control the Zodiac wheel. Be patient. I know you have it in you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, let's throw down your cards for this week. I'm a fire sign. I'm not putting anybody on blast. I'm just having fun. I'm playing. I don't like it when we have to go last. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't like it when I have to go last either, but it is what it is. What do we got? Nine of Wands in the upright. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. first instinct thought just popped in my head one last push to try to prove your self worth you have something to prove fire sign friends do you feel like you have something to prove right now okay Let's see what we got what happened three of swords in the reverse nine of cups in the reverse so Okay, so we ignored a state of heartbreak and filled our cups with negative things. Huh. You know what happens when you ignore the three of swords, right? I'm not seeing this as coming out of a state of heartbreak. Not with that nine of cups reversed there. Oh, no. Oh, no. You suppressed it. <clears throat> I'm not judging. I'm not. I do it all the time, too. Mm -hmm. Seven of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Cups reversed. Filling your cups with negative things. Impatient energy. Nothing's fruiting. Nothing's working out. Ten of cups reversed. None of my cups are full. When you fill your cups with negative things, they just fall right back over, don't they? Because you don't have the patience to deal with that. What happens this week? The star in the reverse and the seven of wands in the upright. I don't like that star in the reverse. We're going to find out why it's here. Probably because you haven't healed yet. And you're trying to regain control even though you haven't healed yet. Because you have something to prove. The cart goes behind the horse, not in front of it. That's all I'm going to say. Let's clarify before I swallow my entire leg. Why is the star reversed here? Hey, 
Okay. Knight of Pentacles, upright, six of wands, reversed. Oh, I can see why you're up in arms a little bit. One more on that. High Priestess reversed, unacknowledged connection and unwelcome return. Who's the Knight of Pentacles? Judgment. Yeah, return. Resurrecting something that was long dead. Hmm. That's very interesting. Now I want to go back and clarify these. I think we're gonna. Why not? I want to clarify them in order. Why is the Three of Swords reversed here? This is where you find out if it's your story or not. Two of Cups, yeah. Ignoring heartbreak. Page of Pentacles reversed. Offers being taken off the table. Things went stagnant. You ignored it. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed here? Okay. Why not? Knight of Cups. Temperance reversed. I'm not sure exactly what you were filling cups with, but it was not good mojo. No. I think you've been putting a lot of band-aids on this wound, if you know what I mean. A lot of negative energy here, a lot of impatience leading to this temperance reverse seven of pentacles reverse both both scream impatience why is the seven of pentacles reversed here thanks six of pentacles reversed you're impatient you're not in balance you're not happy because you're not in balance temperance reversed also speaks of a little bit of imbalance because there's negative energy You got to get your bearings back about you before you can get balance and be happy. You got to be patient. And I know fire signs are not the best at this. But you got something to prove, don't you? You got something to prove. What are you trying to prove? Why is, why is Ten of Cups reversed here? Six of Swords. Just moved on. You gathered up your spilled cups and you moved on. But the problem is you didn't heal. Either you are the person you're dealing with. Maybe they're the ones who just kind of gathered up their spilled cups and didn't heal. Hmm. Okay, why is the Seven of Wands here? Knight of Swords. One more. Death reversed. Came out reversed. 
jumped out and flipped up on her head. We may find out that feelings haven't changed. Someone may try to come back and claim what they think is theirs because they think they have something to prove. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with. Wow. So we got somebody trying to come back and it is not a welcome return. There's still some salt and some wounds here. A lot of negative energy between you. A lot of imbalance. Someone who had no apologies to offer back when this happened has a big fat apology to offer now. That's for sure. Now let's get your advice. Three of Wands, Queen of Wands. It's up to you to decide if this was worth waiting for. Funny thing about the Queen of Wands, she's extremely intuitive. She's very fiery. She's very passionate. And a little bit of an attitude, not quite Queen of Wands attitude, but she don't take no crap from nobody. And she can be a little bit fiery and confrontational. A little bit. more so I read this properly. Four of Swords reversed, Page of Swords reversed. It's up to you if you decide whether this was worth waiting for or not, if you want to continue to wait, or if you want to trudge forward and move on. Don't get all restless until you find out why they've attempted to come back. I'm sensing a little bit of dishonesty here. So don't read more into this than there is and get yourself all restless about it. Ten of Pentacles, upright. Queen of Cups, upright. That's your last little bit of advice, fire signs. Do ultimately what is going to make you happy and serve your purpose and feed your abundance and put you on the path where you want to go. That's ultimately the decision you need to make with this. Because you got somebody trying to come back and I don't think a situation is healed yet. So you need to decide if this is gonna be salt in a wound or not, okay? That's what I have for you guys this week. Good luck. Let me know what happens. Let me know if it resonated. And it's been a minute since I read a lot of cards, so. Okay. I think I'm going to call it a night, try to get some sleep, and see what tomorrow brings. I know this week, since things are finally settling down, I'm going to get some content ready to post. So, thanks for coming by. Sharing the last hour with me, I appreciate you. Be blessed. Namaste. Catch you later.